everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Physicists at Syracuse University, working with data gathered at the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland, have confirmed the existence of a new particle. It's a composite particle consisting of two quarks and two anti-quarks. It's part of a theorized group of particles called exotic hadrons. This particular particle is dubbed Z4430, and though its existence was first suggested by experiments conducted in 2007, it's been controversial, with many physicists refusing to accept its existence. The new findings from the SU team seem capable of settling that controversy. After analyzing data gathered from tens of thousands of particle collisions within the Large Hadron Collider, the team found evidence confirming that Z4430 is real making it the first of the exotic hadrons to have its existence confirmed so strongly. We just discovered a new kind of matter. Next up, astronomers have devised a newer, more accurate method for estimating the distances to stars using the Hubble Space Telescope. All stellar distances are estimates, and the further away a star is, the greater the estimate's margin for error. The most commonly used technique, a bit of trigonometry called astronomical parallax, that calculates distance based on slight changes in a star's observed position as Earth orbits the Sun, has been considered reliable within a distance of about 750 light years. Now, by combining the parallax method with the Hubble Space Telescope's ability to observe distant objects with extraordinary detail, astronomers at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, have developed a technique that allows them to more accurately estimate the distances of stars as far away as 7,500 light years away, effectively extending our cosmic tape measure to 10 times its former length. I'll finish off this week with two medical stories that aren't directly related to each other, but that both involve healing using body parts grown in a laboratory. First, scientists at the University of Basel in Switzerland announced they had grown cartilage that was then used in a series of successful nasal reconstruction surgeries to repair damage from skin cancer. The cartilage was grown from cells taken from each of the five patients involved in the study. It's now been over a year, and all five are happy with their results and reporting no side effects. Next, and I think even more incredibly, Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center's Institute for Regenerative Medicine in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, is reporting long-term successes in the cases of four teenage girls who were implanted with lab-grown vaginas. All four girls were born with meyer rokitansky kutzer hauser syndrome, which affects the development of the vagina and the uterus. Scientists took cells from the patients and grew them on scaffolds made of a biodegradable material, which were then surgically implanted in the bodies of the patients, where they continued to grow and eventually developed nerves and blood vessels and integrated into the surrounding tissue. The girls were between ages 13 and 18 at the time of surgery, and those surgeries took place from 2005 to 2008. Regular checkups since then confirmed that they're all fine and functioning normally. Physicists confirm the existence of a new particle. Astronomers use the Hubble Space Telescope to more accurately estimate stellar distance. And scientists use laboratory engineered tissue and organs to repair damage and improve lives. That's the good news. to get those scientists to grow you a new brain. Oh.